Hey guys, what's up? It's Life Ren, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Quincy, the robot artist. If any of you guys have any children at home, or if you guys have friends who have little kids at home between the ages of like three to seven, this might be worth looking into because Quincy, the robot artist, is an interactive toy um, that you guys can kind of keep your kids entertained with. So this is an unboxing, and I'm going to be doing my very first tutorial on how Quincy, the robot artist, is set up as well as how he draws and can teach your child how to spell. Hope you enjoy. So now that we did the unboxing, I'm just gonna go over um, the general stuff about Quincy the robot. I don't know, I was just curious about this little guy. Um, so grab one and I guess it says, let's see, what does it say about him? It says, introducing Quincy the robot artist, scan a picture card and watch the artist get to work. Quincy also loves to spell and play simple math games, a very busy bot. Quincy can scan any of the 64 included QR codes with his amazing eye. This lets kids talk to him and answer his questions. Let this uh, quirky companion to your home. Um, it's by Lanzo. They have several websites um, that offer it. I'll go ahead and put those links down below. Just doing a little setup of little Quincy here. Um, if you look down here, there are four different levels. So right here, this is level one and this is the orchard. So all of it is in red. And then this is level two in the room. And it, you can draw all of these little guys. And then level three is in the yard. And as you can see here, there's a butterfly, there's a bee, uh, there's a snail. And then level four is in the zoo. So you can draw the penguin, um, I guess it tells you like stories about the penguin too and then you can um, or the robot asks you about it I haven't used that function or anything but I'm basically gonna go over how to set up the drawing portion of this and the spelling so let's get things set up oh yes one last thing before we start setting Quincy up there's also these um, cards right here they have QRs on the back again and then these are the letters so that's like in a teal color. And then this purple one right here is the um, portion for the numbers. So you can learn with Quincy too. Um, and then, all right, let's set them up, okay? All right up. Um, before you set up, <laughs> you're gonna wanna have um, to know what these buttons mean. So this right here is the stop button. Um, so if you want to just, let's say, forget about a card, you're going to go ahead and press this um, for a new card. And then uh, this right here is your next button. And then this is to repeat. Quincy says to draw a leaf or a portion of the leaf. And then you're like, wait, how the heck did you do that? And then you want Quincy to do it again. So this over again. And I'll go through it. Um, he, he or she, I don't know, <laughs> Quincy doesn't come with um, attached arms. You're going to have to go ahead and have to attach these arms onto Quincy. Magnets right here and then this portion right here um, you put the pen in. The magnets are going to be facing downward and you place them right on top of the connector parts right there and they're quite easy to just latch on as you can see here. Let's do that again. There and then there. Okay. And then you're gonna to want to place Quincy, it says on a third of the paper. And grab yourself a piece of paper too if you wanna join Quincy, but I'm just gonna to try to show you guys how Quincy works. You're gonna to wanna to turn this knob to the right. Power on. And then you see Quincy with his little eye and it that is Quincy rebooting. <laughs> trying to set up. Okay, it's asking me. 
Quincy is asking me to set up the pen. So let's place this on a third of the paper like that. And just a little heads up, you want to make sure that um, the pen doesn't bleed through. So just do like two or three pieces of paper. Otherwise you might draw a peach instead on your table. And then this also comes with two uh, different markers. I think they're both black, yeah. Yeah, so they're both black. But you can honestly attach any color pen or a marker as long as it fits in this hole and then you can adjust it. Let's just take this cap off and we're going to insert it here. This rubber portion right here is the stopper. So it's a little bit easier for you and up to maneuver. Okay, so bring this down like that. And you wanna make sure that you don't like jam the pen down just enough. And just adjust it enough so that the pen is touching or the marker is touching the piece of paper. Mm, a little bit more. Like that. Okay, and then you're going to secure it by tightening the, the knob right here. So righty tighty, right? And it takes a little bit of... I'm gonna put this on the cleaner portion of the piece of paper. Again, a third of the paper. And then we'll start off. Um, so I chose something from the Orchard collection, which is this. So first things, press the little next button. Okay. Let's start our trip. Oh. Okay, readjust that. I already see it being too far up. Okay, there we go. All right, so it says, let's, let's start our trip. So the next button again. And the next thing is to draw a peach. So place it in front of the eye. Let's learn how to draw a peach today. Okay, and then press next. First, let's begin by drawing ear-shaped lines. Make sure you have a big half circle at the top and a smaller half circle at the bottom. Now that you have an ear shape, repeat this shape on the right. Don't forget to connect both shapes together, top and bottom. That's it. We now have a simple peach shape. Now, add a curved line from the bottom of the left ear shape line. This line will need to go through the middle of the peach shape. Let's say I didn't get that last portion while I'm drawing it, just pretend, okay? And then I wanted to repeat the step, so I'm going to go ahead and press this circle button over here. Finally, our peach needs two leaves. And as you see, it repeats the step. Make sure that these leaves are in the middle, where the two ear shapes come together. Okay, next. Now, we have a peach. I have one more challenge for you. Do you know how to spell peach? Can you use letter cards to spell it out? What is the first letter? All right, so in this portion, you're gonna go ahead and grab these teal looking cards and start to spell it. Um, you do the same thing where you use the QR code on the back of each of these letters. So let's say that I started spelling it with an H So that's not the right letter, right? So the next one. Great. The first letter is P. What's the next letter? Fantastic. The second letter is E. What's the next letter? Wonderful. The third letter is 
is A. What's the next letter? I think Brilliant. Quincy has pretty Black nice handwriting, don't you think? <laughs> well done. Now you know how to spell peach. Can you help me to colour in the peach? You can refer to the colour scheme provided on the other page. Or you can design your own style peach. Have fun! Alright, and that would be a little bit more advanced, but I'm just going to go, again, I just wanted to go through um, the setup of this and to show you guys what Quincy is capable of doing. So after you're done, go ahead and put your um, cap back on here. And then you're gonna turn Quincy off by turning this knob to the left. And this is also utilized as the, um, the volume control. So turned off now. And then if you need to charge Quincy, then you're gonna use the USB cord and plug it into this area right here to charge Quincy up. That's pretty much it. So go ahead and um, get yourselves a little Quincy robot from one of the websites down below. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Comment, subscribe down below. Thanks so much. Bye.